Hey guys, I'm Greg. This is Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews, and we have another one. This one, uh, an imported beer. This one is XINGU. It's Zingu or in Ingu. Or, I'm probably butchering that all the hell, like I always do, guys. This is a black beer and imported from Brazil. Don't know if I've ever had any Brazilian beers. Uh, don't see any date or anything on the label on the front or the back. Uh, Let's see here. I'm Brazil. Ported with Euro Brew. No date on the back label. Very simple label. We've got a crocodile on the front of it and got a half naked Amazon Indian down at the bottom with a bow and arrow. I believe he's got his junk hanging out there on there. Hmm. Way too much information there. What do you think? <laughs> uh, guys, not a lot of not a lot of reviews on this one. Uh, this is technically called a sports beer by Beer Advocate, but very dark looking beer. I, I don't know if this is actually going to fit into the sports beer class or not. The, uh, like I said, it's out of Brazil. It's around, it doesn't change the writing, it's got so small I can't even read it on my hand. I'm getting some glasses. 4.7% ABV guy, year round serving. Food pairing for this, it says German. The glassware, this is a flute, pills in a glass, a pokal. We're going to pour it in a pint glass today, and it's not recommended for extended souring. Like I said, there's no date on it or anything, so uh, other than seeing it, and it said it's from Brazil, I said, ah, let's pick that up. I didn't do any research on this. This is a twisty, just off. So the bottle is garbage. Almost looks like a cola. It's a ruby red color coming out. Almost looks like a, a nut brown or something. Over into the light, it's got red ruby tinges around the outside of the glass, but I cannot see through the center of it. So, fairly dark beer. Just some slight rubiness around the outside edges. Quite a few bubbles streaming up, reinforcing the head from the bottom there. Very creamy looking head on top. Nice looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. I'm getting roasted malt and some... It smells like some dark fruit or something. It almost smells like a... Uh, like a dark ale. I don't have the Belgian qualities to it, but it smells like a strong... I mean a strong ale, a dark... Uh, a strong dark ale. There's some like, almost like figs or, or, or dates or something in there. There is a there is a, a, a fruitiness to it. it. Smells very interesting. Doesn't smell like a Schwartz beer. Not to me it doesn't anyway. Well, let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. A beer from Brazil. I have a few subscribers in Brazil, so maybe they'll tell me whether this is actually a good beer from down there or not. <laughs> there is some dark wow I've got a hint of something huh? not bad really Doesn't come with high ratings or marks or anything. So then on the thin side, I'm giving the dark fruit with some roasted malt. 
that's not awful bad. I mean, it's, it's not blowing my hair back or anything, but I believe I could drink this over the one I had yesterday, the Tiger Lager. Yeah, I said this definitely has a little more taste. Definitely not a sports beer to me, though. Very sessionable. No alcohol. Very easy drinking, very session was the biggest thing there. Some roasted malt, some dark fruit. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to let the other half try it. Try the fridge, 40 degrees, and come back and see what we end up with after it warms up. Stick around. I'll be right back. So far, so good. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left. Not nothing very special. Uh, definitely better than we had yesterday from Singapore, the Tiger Beer. This is a... Uh, a very easy drinking, uh, it's not a lager, but it's, it's like a black ale, like a black pale ale. It's not hoppy. Actually, it's even not a pale. It's actually closer to a brown ale. How about you guys? Roasty malt, a little bit of dark fruit, very thin on the watery side, no alcohol, very easy to drink, very fashionable. Not bad, but not outstanding. Uh, guys, I'm going to give it a 4. It's a C, which I think is average. I haven't had a lot of beers from Brazil. Uh, hopefully this is not the best one they produce. Uh, Rate Beer has this at 54 overall and 59 in the style, and Beer Advent comes up at 79, which is in their average. And I agree, this is probably an average beer to me from Brazil. Uh, hopefully they have something a little nicer than this. So uh, any of my subs that's down there, give me some hints uh, of what I should look for up here. Uh, I actually had one of my subs down there said he was going to send me some beer. So hopefully I, I'll get a beer mail from there. I know that would be expensive trying to ship beer from Brazil there for somebody. So probably as much as it was to ship beer back and forth from the Netherlands when I shipped it last time. I think the shipping on that beer was like 75 or 80 dollars for that box, so it's very expensive to ship beer from country to country. Guys, uh, if you've had this beer, give me some comments back on it, and if you have, liked it, loved it, and you had not you see it, pick it up, give it a try. Nothing outstanding, but I'm glad I tried it. Uh, beer from Brazil. Expanding the palate, guys. Let's look at the fridge tomorrow. See if we can expand it just a little bit further. Join me then.